Northgate tries to heal rift between William and Harry with Olive Branch peace talks at Windsor and bid to repair their fractured relationship. The Duchess of Cambridge has reportedly stepped in to try and heal the ongoing rift between Princes William and Harry. Kate is said to have advised Harry to offer his older brother an olive branch in a bid to put tensions between them to rest before the two couples had a meeting over tea on Easter Sunday. Rumors of a fractured relationship between the siblings have been abound for months, after it was revealed last year Harry and Meghan would be moving out of their Kensington Palace cottage to the grounds of Windsor to avoid their first child growing up in a goldfish bowl. This comes after Prince Harry was desperate to avoid his brother William at the Easter church service attended by the royal family on Sunday, according to a body language expert. The Duke of Sussex walked ahead of his brother into the service at St George's Chapel in Windsor, fueling speculation they are feuding. The Duchess of Cambridge has tried to repair a complete and utter breakdown of communication between the brothers, according to the Mirror. After the service, Harry and Meghan reportedly invited her and her husband to their new home at Windsor for tea on Easter Sunday. Body language expert Judy James told Mail Online, Watching them at the Easter service was almost like watching strangers. With Meghan about to give birth soon, Harry was by himself but there were no signs of him joining up with William and Kate on arrival or leaving the church. If anything Harry appeared to avoid his brother. Kensington Palace has been contacted for comment. Royal insiders have previously insisted that the Cambridges and the Sussexes are very different people. A source previously told the Daily Mail's Rebecca English, while there are some tensions behind the scenes. Kate is pretty unflappable and nothing has become bad enough to make Harry and Meghan want to move out. People are genuinely pleased to see them so happy. The truth is that there simply isn't enough room at Kensington Palace for them and I know they have been looking at Windsor as a possibility since before the wedding. Father-to-be Harry looked relaxed as he joined sister-in-law Kate at a Westminster service to mark Anzac Day yesterday, the National Day of Remembrance for Australians and New Zealanders who died in all wars. Prince William, meanwhile, is in New Zealand on a whistle-stop tour to meet survivors of the Christchurch massacre, while Meghan, due to have her baby any day, stayed at home in Windsor.